We are going to adjust our foot height so we have the perfect clearance to quilt this top. You want to make sure that your machine is turned off. The next thing we're going to do is put our needle in its furthest down position. Now we can loosen our foot with the screw on the side. We're going to take a credit card and slide it underneath the foot. And as soon as it sits perfectly on the card, we're going to retighten the foot. Now we have that perfect foot height. Remember to do this each time you put a new quilt top on because your height may change slightly. If you're using heavier fabrics or batting, you may need to adjust your idler rail. To do so, you simply push the lever and you can raise and lower your idler rail. For proper quilting on your long arm, you need to make sure that your idler bar is set close to the base of your head. You want it just barely a finger high. You don't want it too high, this could cause thread breakage. So what we do is we're going to take that same card and slide it between your idler bar on top of the head. We're going to gently glide it down to make sure that it never drags or bumps into our quilt top. Before you begin quilting, there are a couple things you need to know about your handlebars. The first is that they're adjustable. This allows us to move our handlebars into a flat position and anywhere all the way up. I like to adjust mine in a comfortable slanted grip. Within your handlebars, you have two buttons. This one turns your machine on and off, and the left button allows you to needle up and needle down. I'm gonna show you a quick troubleshooting test for your Y encoders. Turn your machine on in precise, and now we're going to quilt backwards and forwards to make sure that our encoders are in place and our machine is making good stitches. Now we're gonna check the X encoder. This is the one on the underneath rear of the carriage. Turn your machine on and now we're gonna quilt from left to right. Check your stitches to make sure you're making good stitches. 